Hello, everybody. My name is Invicta, and welcome back to Balatro here on the channel. Today, we're going to be continuing our our quest for getting that first E. We came very, very close on the last run. Obviously, it flamed out in the uh, extra innings or victory lap or whatever you call it, endless mode. Uh, but we definitely we got close. It was it was the closest we've been so far since starting the series. So I'm gonna go on the yellow deck today just because I want a little bit of extra money to play with at the start. And thank you all very much for all the support. I'm glad that people have been enjoying this sort of like the the lighter take on the series and you know just just ha trying to have fun, but also trying to we we have a very clear objective in mind, which is to which is to get a to get an e that's that that is the goal the series will not end until we get one and that's that's just that's just how it's going to be uh an a size straight should get us there i believe yeah there we go but yeah and again thank you all very much if you want to see more balatro content here on the channel make sure you're clicking the like button it does help out a great deal i'm going to start out here with paintbrush which is going to give us plus one hand size which is very very good and uh do we crack open a pack nah i think we save it for a joker so I'm not going to skip the, uh, I'm not going to go for the investment tag here. We are going up against the goad, so all spade cards are debuffed. i got to remember that. Oh, man, we're just starting off with a king high, a king high uh, boat. Can we get quads? Can we get quads? Can we get quads? We did. Look at that. Look at us. All right, hoping for a good start here for our jokers. And splash ain't bad. Flash is going to say that every single card played is going to score, regardless if it's part of the of the actual poker hand or not. Jumbo buffoon, I'm a little bit lesser. I, like I'm a little bit less inclined to play to play jumbo buffoons, but I am going to play. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, burnt Joker because obviously, if we're going to go for high card, these two go very very well together. I'm upgrade the level of the first discarded poker hand each round, which is very good. Maybe we'll get a Pluto in here. No, get a flush. All right, so we got to get rid of uh, spade cards here, and we want to get rid... We essentially just want to play high cards, so we don't want to discard anything that could potentially be not a high card. So we're going to discard this, upgrade the level of the first discarded poker hand each round. So we're going to upgrade high card. There we go. And now we can just play whatever. Um, almost have a flush here. We should go for a flush since it is worth more than a straight, even though we have the pair of sixes here. We have a king high flush, which is pretty good. Uh, we can maybe go for a, a king high boat um, if we really, 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 really wanted to. We might as well try it with the fives, even though one of them is debuffed. Okay. Here we go. Get the flush. It is level two, so this should be okay. And then we get another flush. Easy peasy. We should have actually played high card there in case we end up getting something like telescope, but... Now goes the goad, no big deal. We still have uh, blanks to unlock, which I'm just gonna ignore right now. The strength card, we can use it to make more aces or kings. Um, let's see what we get for our buffoon pack though. Stacking jokers early on is gonna be nice. I am gonna take mail and rebate. That's very, very good um, for the early game economy here. Every discarded six gives us $3. We haven't opened any Arcana packs yet, so I'm gonna do this. So we create a we can create a joker, get six bucks, create a king essentially, uh, upgrade flush, or get, give ourselves a stone card. Um, I'm gonna make myself a king. There we go. In case we have to pivot from the high cards, and yeah, I'll go ahead and take a strength card. Okay, yeah, so the clubs are debuffed on this on this ante. So we do get a mega buffoon pack on the next round, our next blind. So we probably will end up taking that. We can create two more kings here, and I like the sound of that. Oh yeah, I forgot we have Burnt Joker. Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Should be, we should only be discarding um, high card stuff. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna turn these into kings regardless of what we end up playing here, because I'm gonna play a flush. Quad Kings again, so I'm just going to play those. I could have actually played an extra card there for Splash, but it's not going to matter at the end of the day. Yeah, we get another Death card, which I will take now because we have a Spectral pack on deck. 
And uh, let's see if we can get ourselves a Pluto. Yes, we do. A card level three, very nice. All right, Spectral Pack, let's see what you got. Get Trance or we get Cryptid. Again, we can create more more kings, um, and I'm just gonna do that, so. Although we need to make sure, we are going up against the club, right? Yeah, so let's not make more king of clubs, make more king of diamonds. And we may have to tra tra transition into a uh, five of a kind deck, maybe, but as we, as we saw in that last video, again, five of a kind decks really don't work. They don't do it for me. I like, I like high card decks. I think they have the highest potential. Uh, earn $1 for each nine in your full deck. Um, gain $2, three of a kind, three of a kind. Both of the Zany and the Wily Joker, both would go very good early on here, I think. So we could get, I mean, we could take Cloud Nine, but let's just take these two for now, because obviously we're gonna be playing lots of Kings. Okay, so I wanna discard a King. This is not going to account for mail and rebate, but this will level up our high card, thanks to, uh, thanks to the uh, Burnt Joker. We have an ace high flush here. We might as well play that now. We could discard, but we have plenty of hands too. So, and again, our flush is level two. Um, what is what is our high card at? High card's 34. Let's say it's a base value of 140 versus base value of 300. Yeah, it's still way better for a flush right now. I think great. We should be trying to play for this for the three of a kind or four, four of a kind or five of a kind. We got three fives. We got four fives. Go ahead and take it. Let's go ahead and play the ten so it counts for a splash as well. This should easily be enough. Not the exact way I thought we were gonna draw it up, but hey. Dub there, we get the cardomancer. And ramen, which is just ram bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, overstock now. Hopes that we get something better. We get the wall coming up, so we're gonna have to get some real strong, strong cards. Uh, I am still uh, mail and rebate still stuck on the king, so I'm just gonna go ahead and discard it so we can level up high card again. Um, three bucks. Now again, we can play whatever we want. We could play a boat here. That would count for the multi with Zany Joker and Wily Joker, so might as well play it. Because this does contain a three of a kind. Oh wow, that wasn't actually enough. Ow. Uh, let's just do this. Again, we're playing into Splash here. We could create another king, actually. I, I like that. Let's create. Let's let's make a king of hearts. Light him up a little. So I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna play high card, but high card. Jumbo Buffoon. Oh, these are really not not great. And neither is that. So Mad Joker gets gives us a plus 20 multi for four of a kind. Odd Todd as well gives 30 chips. Um we can really go insano mode on the multi. We play if, if we play quads. So let's do that. Let's open up a standard pack. I like purple seals because they allow us to, we can get rid of the card without being penalized for holding on to it. Alien Rebate wants us to discard Queen, so we can do that as well and still get the high card. We discard this as well, give us a planet card or a tarot card here. The Hangman, look at that, look at us. Four of a kind here should be mega huge. Maybe we can get five of a kind. And be even mega huger. Pluto leveled up, level seven now for high cards. Starting to look pretty good, despite us not having really anything that uh, helps us out. Clever Joker now. Yeah, this game really wants us to really wants us to lean into the five of a kind. 
I don't want to, game. I really don't. Um, sun and moon. Pokemon. Yeah, give me Queen of Spades. All right, we need 11.2K for this. So, again, we want to make sure that we're only discarding high card here. But I don't want to get rid of a I don't want to get rid of a king. We can't get rid of the 6 or 3 because that's just going to create a pair and that's we don't want to level up a pair. We want to level up the burnt joker. Uh mail and rebate wants jacks. So, this is a little less ideal, but Okay, now we can play whatever we want. Gonna be another, what, six bucks? Yep. Okay, so we get our four kings here. We might as well play the queen. Maybe we'll get lucky and, and proc 20 bucks here. Never know. Didn't. Okay, we still have five kings left, but now we're in a little bit of issue. We're, we're in a little bit of trouble here because we need to draw our kings. We can play a straight here. I guess technically I should have played the flush, but. We need to draw all of our kings here, otherwise we're in trouble. And we didn't. Yeah, this is this is one of those, this is just one of those hands that never, or just, just one of those rounds that just never, we, we were basically hamstrung by the jokers is all. That's fine, it happens. We had some pretty crap jokers. No real synergy in between all of them. Um, the burnt, obviously, burnt joker is like the best one there. Inside okay, so flush, definitely gonna do it. So we'll try again. It's a warm up, warm up game. All right, let's see here. We get ourselves a clearance sale, which gives us cheaper packs. We have a mega celestial and. A jumbo spectral, so this is pretty good value here. I'm always gonna go high card. Always high card. And flush. Either one of those works for me. Medium, ectoplasm, deja vu, and familiar. Deja vu gives us a guaranteed red seal, but but familiar gives us three possibly multiple red seals. So I'm going to go for this one. Um, I mean, the, the red seal trigger is nice, especially on a, on a heart jack, but let's risk it. <laughs> okay. Get a coupon tag. Probably not the worst thing in the world, actually, to get a free shop. All club cards are debuffed, no problem at all. We got ourselves a lucky king. We got three jacks, and uh, we got a boat. We have four jacks. Look at us. I okay, love hanging Chad. Clever Joker. At four of a kind, we get 150 chips. Probably not going to do anything with it, but we'll just we'll sell it. Overstock is going to give us a third slot. Show up here for the card slots. And I do like misprint. This print can sometimes troll, although hallucination early on can be very nice as well. So we do that, especially with these two free, free packs here. The card level three. And get a red seal eight. I guess I'll take. Rare Joker. Can't really afford it right now, so. We got the queen. Okay, so what we can do is we can put the king, the lucky king first, because we, we want it to trigger with uh, hanging Chad. Maybe we'll get lucky here for some money. Hey, well, we got the multi. We didn't get the 20 bucks, but we did get the multi. Splash again. Again, having having a high card build with Splash is real good. I'm also going to pick up Swashbuckler here. 
So we get plus four multi, which, you know, these only sell for one buck each, but still early on in this run. We definitely want to hold on to the, the gold jack here. We need income. Maybe we'll get the red seal eight. We did. Wow, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna we're gonna throw the eight up first, play this boat here, and this is gonna trigger multiple times. It's not gonna be a lot of chips, but it's let's see, it's eight. It's eight, sixteen. It's this is this is thirty-two chips versus twenty-two. So this is still more chips than the uh the eights with hanging chad. Or maybe not. Pop this pop the flush here and we'll definitely take that. Three bucks. Hey, every little bit helps. Get a fool card. Go ahead and just take that. I'm not gonna use it, but we'll take it. Give me give me riffraff. Give me some riffraff. Get a little crazy with it. I like Hallucination. I do like Hanging Chad as well. Um, I'm gonna gamble with. I'm gonna gamble with Riff Raff. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll be be able to have a little bit of fun here. Empress gives us th a whole three dollars. Go ahead and use the Empress here. Activate the multis on the kings. And yep. The Riff Raff is going to give us two common jokers every single time we select a blind. So we're going to get two free jokers here. And if you want to look at it a different way, you can actually consider Riff Raff a little bit of an income generator. It's not a significant amount, but it's it's quite good, in my opinion. Um, it's I mean, you know, you, you could get like four extra bucks around. You never know. Get Drunkard, which gives us plus one discard. Runner gains plus ten chips every single time we play a straight. Uh, I'm not playing I'm playing straights, but you know. We could go. We could go for a boat or a straight here. At the boat. I hate losing the three bucks though. Do it. It's going to discard two cards. It's going to be the ace and the king. Pretty much guaranteed. Put this queen to the front so it triggers with hanging Chad. 40 chips. <clears throat> going to keep the king for just in case we end up playing the uh, high card here. We definitely will. Two pairs is not going to be worth anything. It's 40. This is a base set. This is a base value of a 75. Yeah, we'll just do that. Again, I think that just playing the... Uh... Oh, wait, no, we have a straight. So a little bit, a little bit rough here. Get a negative rocket. Uh, yeah. So that gives us an extra Joker slot, which I would definitely take. Get rid of drunkard. Get rid of runner. Say thank you for your service. So here we can get plus one hand size from paintbrush as well, which is very good. Rocket gives us a dollar at the end of each round, and we gain two dollars on it every single time we beat a boss blind. So. We're almost halfway done with this run, so the effectiveness of Rocket is a little bit diminished, but it is a negative, which allows us to still get full value out of Riff Raff. Ooh. You know your boy can't... I can't pass up... I cannot pass up a Spectral Pack. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Too... I'm, I'm too tempted. This is Aura or Familiar. Enhanced face cards. I'm just going to keep looking for the Red Seal, I suppose. 
And, okay, we're getting a lot of gold cards. Definitely down for that. A misprint and smiley face. It's not bad. The flush here, but we don't care about no flushes. Looking for my gold cards, really. And we didn't get any. Okay, well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna not play the boat here. The face cards get adding plus four to multi here for the smiley face as well. I mean we don't have to play high card. Like our, our deck is not it is not um optimized for high card right now. We really should just be playing the best hands we have, period. A smear joker is interesting if we end up converting to a flush deck. Go ahead and buy Pluto here. And I think we sell. Sell, sell. Let's see if maybe we can get another tarot card. With hallucination, we did. We get a devil card. Doubles our money. It's probably the only thing that's actually worth doing here. So I'm going to use the Hermit card. I'm going to use the Fool card, turn it into a Hermit card, and then use this as well to double our money again. That's something that we desperately need. Is just We need more money right now. Failed on the Hallucination. The card's level 5 now. Smear Joker could be good if we get something like uh, the Ancient Joker or something like that. But we're about to go up against the house, which is not too bad, but the first hand being drawn face down is kind of annoying. Steel cards are good. Greedy Joker would go in line with Smear Joker for now, but for four bucks, I think I'm going to wait. 5,600. We can do this. We get the Grow Michelle. The the Nanner. Hoping it was just going to be a high card. Okay, we have a boat. I'm going to make a steel six here. My card is a base of uh, 200 and that's 25, five, 225. Lose my jacks, man. And we do this with just high card. may cost me, but I think we'll get there with the steel card. If not, then you know what? Uh, I'll take responsibility. Hey! 20 bucks. Let's go. Nice. Tie card with the with the queen with the plus chip should be okay. We got our three jacks. Nice. Look at that. All right, we have a ton of economy now. Now is the time when we need to start really cashing in. We get Rocket, which procs as well. $54. Seed money is going to raise our interest. I feel like I'm going a little bit too fast for newer players. So seed money is a voucher. Vouchers are passive bonuses that you can get to enhance your deck. Seed money raises the cap of interest earned per round to $10, as opposed to being capped to $5. So if you have a really large amount of money, you're gaining interest for every $5 or $10, whatever it is that you that you have. Um, it is a good way to hold on to passive income if you're not going too hard on the on the buys and stuff. Um, the Grow Michelle is nice for, for plus 15. I don't think the Smear Joker is going to do anything for us, but we'll see. We'll go ahead and use the High Priestess. This does nothing for us, but we can sell it. Chariot card. 
or steel we or we can create a glass card i do like the idea of that we have way more kings than aces so i'm going to turn this heart into or the king of heart into a glass king of heart. wild card meh. None of these really matter. I guess I'll level up flush just in case we end up going for Smear Joker. The retrigger on the two, three, four, or five is interesting, especially if we were to get something like the Baron or something, but we don't have any of that. That's the thing is we're, we're missing key components on both of these runs uh, so far from our Joker bench. Scholar would work well with aces. I think we should save our rerolls. Okay, so start with zero discards. It's a little bit scary. Oh, that is a lot of diamonds. Oh, got almost every queen we have. Really don't want to have to play our, our glass king. Four of a kind is still better for us here. And I am gonna I'm gonna chance it. Even though we have a even though we have a glass king here, I'm gonna chance it with hanging Chad to see if we can get some 20 bucks. Ah, oh, we got double the multi on that. And it didn't shatter, so we're happy. You see the massive amount of interest we have. So the idol, I can't not think that the idol is garbage. Um, I'm sorry. It's just I, I've never seen the idol work. Empress card here. Again, none of these really matter. I, or a straight flush. Doesn't matter. Did we get another tarot card from Loose Nation. We didn't this time, but we did get a high card. Man, high card decks only work if you have something that multiplies from your hand, and we don't have that right now. Fortune Teller giving us plus 10 multi. I'm going to get rid of Riff Raff because it's not really doing anything for us. I am going to buy Fortune Teller just for now. Faith card is good. Ooh, the Glass Joker. Okay. Okay. I can't believe I haven't discovered it yet. So Glass Joker, it gains a half multiplier for every glass card that is destroyed. I mean, it's something, right? I'm not going to be playing the aces. Okay. So let's... Try to destroy the Glass King, I guess. Uh, we can actually play five of a kind here if we turn this queen into a king. As well. That's going to use the uh, Fortune Teller. We can also put multis on this king as well. And sure, we'll put it on this eight. Why not? There we go. So plus 12 multi on the, on the uh, Fortune Teller now. Let's see. Not break. There you go. So look at all the interest that we're gaining here passively. 16 bucks. Ooh, now we're talking. Okay. Things are getting interesting here in round an anti four. The Gro Michelle is, is one is one tap away from being destroyed. I want card sharp, obviously, because the times three multi if the poker hand has already been played this round, it's huge. Hallucination is feeding Fortune Teller right now. Glass Joker, we don't have a... The thing is that we don't have a lot of glass cards. In fact, we only have one. I want to re-roll because I don't want Jumbo Spectral. If it spawns a Wraith, I don't want to lose 
all of our money. Wow, that is a lot of chips there. That's potentially 200 chips if we play that first with high card. That's huge. The glass card here, or justice card. So I'm gonna nuke. I'm gonna nuke our money because I don't want to lose it to a wraith. Well, I guess we don't have to nuke it. Let's see. <laughs> of course. Of course. All right. So ectoplasm gives us another Joker slot, and I think that's where we go. It's like if we look at rare jokers, let's let's take a look real quickly. What what will we have for rare jokers that we could possibly that we could possibly benefit from the most? Brainstorm, obviously, blueprint, obviously. But there's so many landmine rare jokers that are just not great. You know, we could get any one of those, and then it's just it's just we've nuked our we have nuked all of our all of our money for nothing. So I think what you do is you ectoplasm here. Minus one hand size isn't that big of a deal if you're going high card. And we get negative hallucination. Okay. Uh, so we can we have another spot for a joker now. More reroll, blue joker is not bad. Bro, Michelle, if we can turn this into the um, the Cavendish, that would be good as well. So I'm going to rebuy it and hope that it gets destroyed. We have no discards here. So I'm going to prep high card for card sharp now, and it's lucky that we got a lucky card here with King. With the King here, so this potentially could be pretty good. Hey, we got the 20 multi. Very nice. Okay, so high card high card is now it's now prepped and ready for card sharp. I'm not going to use the justice card until we absolutely have to. So again, this is just going to be high card. This is going to get a times three multiplier here with card sharp. You're, just, you're seeing that little tiny bit of multi here. It's just it's it makes such a difference in this game. Upgrades rocket. 12 bucks. We're back up to 20. It's very good. This one consumable slot. Definitely down for that. It adds another spot that we can keep a consumable up here. Mega Arcana packs. Pretty good value for six bucks. So, what we could do is we could use justice card on the king or you'd use it on the on the red seal ace eight and use the full card to make another glass card and we'll put it on this ace and then we can use the emperor card to get two more tarot cards which will then keep it will keep buffing Fortune Teller here. Wow, we got another Fool and another... What? <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe we got some... We have some glass plays here. Okay. So again, we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the Justice card. We're going to use the Fool card to create another Justice card. And then I'm going to take the multi from that, turn that into glass. And then I guess use the Emperor card got another justice card to make another glass card wow okay anical is annoying but we're playing high cards so we'll, we'll be able to manage polychrome joker is nice but we need to get money here i'm just gonna do this now lover's card this literally doesn't matter i'm just doing that to buff fortune teller Give us some money. Look at that. It's one steel card and card sharp 
That's all you need. Ten bucks. Splash. Splash is looking pretty good again. I buy Splash. There's no reason not to have it. These are a nothing burger of a... I guess it's not really a nothing burger because, like, we're adding chips, especially with Splash, so it's a little disingenuous. Get Judgment, which gives us a, uh... It does give us another spot for a Joker, but what do we get rid of? <clears throat> oh, you know what? The Gros Michelle disappeared. I just now realized that. Well, let's create another Steel card, I think. Or we can use an Emperor card to buff up Fortune Teller even more. I think that's probably a better idea. Okay. Use the Hangman here. Just trim the deck a little bit. Do a little bit of little bit of discarding. Now, if I get an opportunity to play some big old Glass Kings, I'm gonna. I mean, that's five of a kind but is is this gonna give us an e no it's not even gonna it's not even gonna come close to an e remember we're not the goal of the series is not to win the run we're going for the highest score that's what we want we want high score oh I'll keep taking this Gonna turn this into a stone card. Now we're gonna play one of our glass kings, or we could try to play all of them, but maybe get some multis on the glass choker, which is actually probably smarter. So this is not for the high score here. This is just to see if we shatter. We shatter two of them. Hey, we got an achievement. Now we have a times two multi on glass choker. It's good. Feel me? Hey! Wow! A polychrome glass joker. Okay. Okay. Down for that. Get a death card. We can make another glass card, too. Uh. Enter pack. Let's see if we can get another tarot card up here don't but we get a red seal jack wow red seal foil jack with with the uh, hanging chad okay holographic hiker ain't bad but we don't really have room for i mean spl is splash really worth it this probably not at this point Yeah, I think that adding plus multi is a little bit more important. Ah, shoot. I should have used the judgment for... Dang it. forgot about that. Oh, well. Okay. The manacle here. We want to create another death card. Or another glass card, I should say. Okay, we got a glass card. It's good. I'll hold on to this king. start making red seal glass eights and save them for when we're ready to go for Augusto. Okay, so yeah, glass joker already starting to pop off here. Now let's play the king So now Glass Joker's already at two and a half multi. Okay, Wasteful gives us an extra disc discard. I'm definitely down for that. 
can get our high cards up though. And an X. I guess we'll upgrade Planet X. Imagine a five of a kind, a beefed up five of a kind with with card sharp and the and a full five of a kind uh, red seal eights, glass eights. That would be insane. Eighth card. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go for the rare Joker. We need if we get blueprint, then we're we're really seriously cooking. Man, there's that there's that stone card. We play this first, oh baby. But I do want twenty bucks. <laughs> I know I know that I keep shooting for the one in fifteen, but when it pays off, brother, we're happy. Play the king. Let's just get the king out of the way. Then, then we'll we'll throw we'll slam the uh, foil stone card here. So this is the prep card sharp. Now we slam. We slam with uh, with the foil stone card, and that's going to proc twice. There should be a ton of chips here. Let's get rid of one of the chips. Yeah. Holy smokes. Look at that. $17. Our economy's looking real good. And yeah, that's the reason why right there I didn't burn the wraith because we get stuff like that. Not that the family is bad, but it's just not what we're going for here. None of these matter. I'm gonna use this just to use it for a uh, fortune teller. This is gonna put it at 30, which is not bad. Man, where's my Pluto's game? Right. Splash, splash just doesn't wanna go away. Psychic, we have to play five cards. Not that big of a deal, of course. There's that foil, foil stone card, so strong. Lose all of our, where are our glass? We, I, we're not seeing any of our glass cards yet. I'm gonna play the ace. No, I'm gonna play the king first. Let's play the king first to prep the uh, high card. We have to play five of a kind, so I guess I will play the ace here. No. Or not five of a kind, sorry. Five cards. Yeah, let's do let's do this. Hey! Nice. And we got the double 20 multi as well. Wow. That worked out way better than I thought it would. That was without card sharp, too. Holy moly, $24. We're gonna go 61 bucks. God, if we could just get okay okay well hang on now so we have invisible joker it's gonna copy a random joker i think we get rid of hiker for sure or we get rid of hanging chad it's probably better that we get rid of hiker we have to think of this in terms of which one would be the worst one to copy Probably hallucination, to be honest. I'm gonna buy Invisible Joker. I keep forgetting to use the Judgment card. Yeah, we don't want either of these. Judgment card is going to kill me. Use the... Ooh. 
We get the hieroglyph, which allows us to redo the last floor, which is, I'm definitely going to take that. This is 19 bucks. Okay, let's hold off. Let's redo. Got the flint. That's a little bit scary. The problem is that our our high card is just not scaled very high. That's the thing. It's not a very high high card. Okay, there's our red our red seal jack is pretty big here. Lots of discards. We got our we got our gold our gold queen. Play this, and then we'll we'll slam the uh, the jack down. We're just doing that again, just to buff fortune teller. It's not really about buffing the cards. And now we slam the jack of diamonds, and this should get us over there fairly easy. Especially with this being foil and red seal plus hanging Chad, yeah. Okay, so Invisible Joker got two rounds left. In the world. Joker gains 25 chips for each stone card in your full deck. Never seen that Joker before. Hmm. Another Jack. Give me a steel 10. No, give me a, a gold blue seal. And that gives us... It gives us double value. And kind of want to discover this just to get it out of the way. If we sell Hallucination, it puts us down to 6-6. Six, six. We'd have to get rid of another one. going to do this because I have a feeling we'll probably see Hanging Chad back. I love Hanging Chad. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to buy this was a Stone Joker. Okay. Wow. To the Moon's huge. That would max out our interest every single round. But we already have pretty good economy, so I don't think we need to do that. Stunt man. Definitely with the death card here. I guess I'll take the golden joker because it is plus multi for now. Yeah, we got to remember that the invisible joker is proccing soon, so we got to be ready for that. play this now just to just to prep the uh just to prep card sharp okay we made a glass eight so i'm going to go ahead and play it now to see if we can shatter it this will get us to a three times multi if it shatters Look at that, $28. And an X, we'll go ahead and just buy that and use it now. 
I doubt that we'll ever we'll get our five of a kind in, but you never know. There's Pluto finally. Some help from Pluto. Open up the standard pack here. And yep. Pack alright. I mean I guess we'll take another stone card. Come on, game. Yep, told you. <laughs> Welcome back, hanging Chad. Uh yeah. Sorry, Golden Joker. You know I like you. All right, so this is where things could get a little scary here. Against the Flint, we got to have our best cards ready. We may have to play some some glass cards here. Let's go ahead and get this. Let's get card sharp prepped now, especially with us having two lucky cards here. Glass Ace definitely helps, but this Glass Eight helps even more. Apparently the stone card is, uh, it overtakes eights. I didn't know that. Now I do. Okay, so Invisible Joker's ready to go. Sell this card to duplicate a random Joker. So, we're in control of, we're in control of basically what it copies. So what happens here, I guess I did have a 10. It wasn't the stone card, it was a, it was a 10. Um, we're good to duplicate everything but the negatives that we have currently. Fortune teller would not be the best to copy So, my logic here is that I think we sell both of our negatives. It wouldn't be terrible to copy Hanging Chad, but it wouldn't be the best. We would, what is the best, what is the best Joker for us to copy? Probably Card Sharp or Glass Joker. Could we get by with a fortune teller copy? Yes, but it would be annoying. It would give us 72 on the multi though, which is very high. So I think that's the play. I think we sell the two the two negatives. I don't necessarily want to copy hanging Chad. Pluto. X. Another chariot card here for another steel card. It's fun. The director's cut so we can reroll stuff. And there's hanging chat again. And if only we had Lucky Cat earlier. wouldn't be bad either. Either with Cavendish either, to be honest. Wow, okay. Yeah, so let's just see what it copies. Hopefully it's one of the times multis. We've got a lot of potential here now. And it did copy Glass Joker, okay. Um, that there. I mean, these two, the, the order of these two, I don't think matter. So, yeah. So, we have something that gives us multi. We have two polychromatic glass jokers, and then we have a times three multi and another times three multi. 
Here, I wish we had a negative, but we're cooking. We are cooking. We are definitely cooking. We can make another glass eight here. I like that idea. So let's make sure it's the high card. Empress doesn't matter, but we use it just to buff fortune teller. Okay. Make sure this is the high card this time. So I'm only going to play these two for now just to prep card sharp. Let's see what kind of damage this does. Actually, no. I'm going to use lucky. I'm going to use the king of hearts first. Hey! Wow, that was 184k. We didn't even play a glass card. And card sharp wasn't active. Holy, we don't even have... Imagine if we get, like, the Baron or something. Okay, this is starting to become interesting now. Yo, King. Carry it for sure. Pluto for sure. The best thing is we don't have to use the cherry card anytime soon. We can just totally wait on that until we're ready to bust out the big score. Same thing before. Let's just see if we can get 20 bucks. A multi. Ow. Brother, that was that was with one steel card in our hand. <laughs> I don't know how we're doing it, but this this deck is really starting to come together now. We get another glass card. We didn't, but we got another another stone card with a really good uh, modification on it. One more. I always like to gain th plus three hands, lose all discards, but it's a negative. I don't think we need. I don't want to lose all my discards. No oh, thanks, Haas. All face cards are drawn face down. That's fine. The glass ace. Yeah, that was our purple seal jack. Play our, let's play one of our kings now. We have too many multis. That's uh, too, way too late, Mouth. Cyclomancy is going to give us another discard. And yeah, Mouth is way too late here. Uh, yeah, we don't want the Magician. We want the Death card and the Fool card. We, I, I think we have a good amount of multis here. Sorry, Mouth. Okay. All we want is our... We want our glass card here. There we go. Glass king. Or make the red seal uh, glass eight here. We're going to use the death card. Use the fool card now. And then we can wait till we get another standard card. So I'm going to play the eight now, just one of them. Just to get any non-modified card here. Okay. All right, game. We're, we're too strong. We're literally too strong.
Still seven. Another multiplier in our hand. Heal three. That's another multiplier. I mean... We have what? One more, one more blind left? Oh, another fool card. You can use that with another death card, dude. Yeah, let's make a... I don't want a lollygag. Let's at least get another glass card in the deck. I'm gonna use a fool card. Then you can discard the discard the jack. Stay here, fun. Look at that. Look at us. We don't need it. Get out of here. I'm gonna play both the kings to see if they shatter because we actually need to start getting rid of these glass cards if we really want to drive up glass. We have two glass jokers. We have to play glass cards here. The more hands that we beat, the less time we're taking. And this is potentially a huge amount of multiplier we're missing out on. So we want these to shatter. We need these to shatter, actually. And neither one of them did. <laughs> wow, and we get Brainstorm, too. Oh man, what do you do with this? Holy moly. The brainstorm copies the ability of the leftmost Joker. I feel like we cannot get rid of Fortune Teller at this point. Plus 43 multi is absolutely massive before the times multi kicks in. What do we get rid of? I mean, driver's license is doing the same thing that card sharp is doing passively before card sharp even kicks in we get rid of driver's license and put in brainstorm we copy one of the glass jokers i think card sharp is the i think it is the i think it's the odd man out Now the question is, do we copy Fortune Teller would give give that would give us 86 on the multi. Or we could put one of the glass jokers before, but that's a big waste of the multi. We'll have to experiment to see what that does. 86 on the base multi is pretty massive. Five of a kind is getting scary, too. Okay, 300,000. I think we're going to absolutely smash this boss. I don't even think it's a question. I'm gonna play one jack just to see what it does. I, I just wanna see what this does. It's not gonna get 300,000, there's no way. Right? Right?
Well. Okay. I also need to adjust where, where Brainstorm's going because if it's going to copy the leftmost Joker, we need to make sure that if we're copying the Terra Merchant, it needs to go before the multi. So it needs to be right next to it. But wow, that was a long run. One hour and five minutes. But hey, we got something cooking. This one absolutely will graduate to endless mode on tomorrow's video. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. Did make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. Remember, love to see these videos get over 1,000 likes. Come on, man. We we went we went hard for this one. Over an hour of Balotro action, and we got something really, really cooking here. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody.